Wow, Aries. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I I feel like there's a lot of back and forth here that there's a lot of drama. Yeah, I feel like I feel like overall there's love here that you are dealing with a soulmate connection because the lovers is making an appearance here in your reading. I feel like there is a falling out of some sort which explains why the Queen of Swords is coming in reverse. I do get the sense that there is lack of communication going on or just words exchanged, harsh words, which resulted in just sort of stopping communication. Yeah, so you're you're being represented by the King of Cups reversed, crossed with the High Priestess. So I feel like, Aries, you're checking in. This is your feelings. You're checking in with your heart. You're checking in with your emotions. And you're, you're being guided intuitively to move forward in this connection. Because you are thinking about your relationship. The lovers is coming in in the past position, right? So you're thinking about this connection. You're thinking about what to do, how to proceed, how to handle this situation. And I feel like you're going to offer an apology or an apology is going to be offered to you. But this is, um, this is the Knight of Pentacles coming in. It's foundational to the reading. So it's a slow moving energy, but I get the sense that, you know, you want to fix this. You want to fix this connection. You're just not sure how to go about it yet. But when the Knight of Pentacles comes in, you know, it's, it's slow and steady. You know, this person is taking their time coming in, you know, with their apology or vice versa. You're taking your time, extending your apology to them. I get the sense that you may have an earth sign on the mind. This could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. Yeah, because in your mind's eye is the king of pentacles, right? So maybe you are thinking about an earth sign. Another interpretation is that you're trying to seek stability in this connection, right? And you're hoping that you can express that through your apology or through this healing conversation. But yeah, I think in your mind's eye, you definitely want stability. You want um, financial stability, stability in the home. You want things to be, you want the connection to be grounded and solid and safe and stable. You know, you want money in the bank, food on the table, kids taken care of, everything to flow smoothly and easily. And, you know, Everything's in perfect balance and harmony. This is grounded earth energy, very practical energy, um, slow moving, calming energy, right? And I think that's what you want with the relationship, with the connection. But you're being asked to assess if what you're doing is in alignment with your highest good and making sure that you're not ignoring the call or your life's purpose. So what is your life's purpose, Aries? I guess that's a great question for you to be asking. If you don't know, then it's just something that you need to focus upon and reflect upon. Um, if you do know, then how is all this going to fit in with your life's purpose? Because I feel like this is a card saying, hang on, make sure you're not being derailed. Make sure you're doing what's what's in your highest interest and what's going to keep you on track to serve you know, your life's purpose. When judgment comes in, this could also be the card of forgiveness. So we are seeing forgiveness foundational to the reading and this could also be like real forgiveness for, for what was going on. So I do get the sense that you're not really in communication anymore, that communication has stopped. And again, we, we're seeing this with the reverse Queen of Swords who came in at the, as the overall energy for the reading. You love this person. They're your boo. <laughs> They're your boo, Aries. Um, this is Ten of Cups energy. This is how you feel about them. But in your environment... You're stressed out because you're not sleeping. And I don't think you know what the outcome is going to be, you know, with this connection. But what you do want is to reconcile, right? You do want to reconcile. But you're taking some time to step back and to reflect and to go within, which is great because you need that. You're tired. You're stressed out. You're not sleeping well. You're tossing and turning at night. There's a lot of anxiety going on because ultimately what you really want overall is two of cups. Soulmate energy connection. You want this to work. 
you want this to really work out and you don't want to lose your person. So follow your intuition. I think you know deep down inside what it is that you need to do to bring this to a harmonious resolution. And take ownership for your side of the street. If you said or did something to contribute to the separation, then own it. Acknowledge it. Apologize for it and move on and vice versa. Allow your person to own their side of the street. Acknowledge it and move on as well. All right. So let's continue on as we're talking about relationships and love. Let's check in with the Pure Love Oracle and see what's going on here. Okay, so we have two for the masculine. Let's just get two more for the feminine. So masculine would like to share with his feminine. I am not available to connect right now, but look for signs of our love around you. Interesting. Interesting. Which would probably explain the sleepless nights. You don't know what to do. You love this person. You do. They're your ten of cups. But you're not ready to connect which is evident. And your feminine would like to share to her masculine, I wish you could be here right now and I want to have fun times with you. So I feel like the feminine energy is ready to, to take you back and is ready to reconcile and is ready to move forward with this connection. But the masculine is not. There's a lot of love on the masculine's part, but they're not ready right now. They're not ready. Let's see. Please tell me about the Nine of Swords. What's the Nine of Swords all about? Nine of Swords. Why aren't they ready? Nine of Swords. There's a lot of conflict. There could be a lot of conflict around them. Could be conflict at work, conflict in their life, just other aspects of life. Tell me more, please. Tell me more about this conflict. Nope, don't take it. Tell me more about this conflict. Nope, I don't take flippers, only jumpers. Tell me more about this conflict, please. So what came out was a seven of swords. Deception. Someone getting away with something. Someone being secretive. Which is creating conflict in the connection for this person. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Yeah. I mean, I feel like there was deception that went on in the past and there was secrets withheld or information withheld. It didn't go over very well. It could be the card of cheating or third party. Um, but I do get the sense that maybe someone felt betrayed. So maybe someone didn't, wasn't completely honest with one another and it resulted in just, in distrust and a lot of distrust. So you're being asked to um, tap into your intuition and to follow your gut and that you are going to come into alignment soon, but it's all about, you know, following your intuition and trusting that a blessing is, is coming in for you in due time. Because Aries, you do see your person as two of cups. You have the lovers here and you want the two of cups energy. So you want this to you want to reconcile. So you're being asked to tap into your, your intuition and, and trust that. All right. Okay. So let's check in with the shamanic Oracle. Yeah. These messages are really awesome and really profound. And I want to make sure that you get the full essence of it. So it's coming in reversed, but when I read the meaning of it, I'm going to hold it upright. And then when the message comes in, I'm going to reverse it. Okay. So the crow is the keeper of universal law, the law of truth. Crow teaches us to walk our talk, to find congruence between who we say we are and who we really know ourselves to be. This winged one insists that we speak truth, that we create truth instead of searching for it, and that we bring truth to every situation we find ourselves in. Interesting, because weren't you just dealing with 
deception, which created conflict and is now resulting in your sleepless nights, Aries. Just saying. Interesting, interesting synchronicity here. Okay, so the medicine. Here's your message for the Seven of Swords. I feel the anxiety. Be true to your word. Crow arrives just as we have convinced ourselves that what we are doing is right and justified. And while this may be the case in the realm of the relative truth, in the higher realm of absolute truth, it is not. Look deeply into your heart and remain alert, lest you convince yourself of something that isn't deeply true for you, or perhaps is not the highest truth. Do not seduce yourself with illusions. That's interesting because the moon card can represent illusions as well, reversed. It's a card of intuition, but reversed, it's fears and illusions. So don't seduce yourself with illusions and be truthful with your words. And I feel like this is what happened. You weren't doing that and that's what messed you up in this connection, Aries. So it's all about being authentic, being truthful, being impeccable with your words. All right, interesting, oh my God. Great messages coming through. So let's check in with the sacred earth. Let's see what's coming in here. Context. Words have meaning. Words have power. It's important to it's important to use the proper context of words and provide the full truth so that way your audience has the full has the proper context of what you're saying. And this all comes down to deception. Again, someone not being truthful and creating problems and creating conflict. Had you been a bit more careful with your words, Aries, and getting the sense that none of this would be here. But you do love your person. That is true. But you just don't know how they feel about you. We're seeing in the Pure Love Oracle, though, that they are ready to come in or that the feminine energy is ready to come in, the masculine is not. So it, take this how it resonates, right? This is a general reading. So one party is not ready. The other half is ready. So if the person who's not ready to receive that may not be trusting you, okay? Be impeccable with your words. Words have meaning and power. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to the um, angel messages. And that's what we're going to go ahead and wrap up with. Mystique. Someone else got Mystique today too. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Interesting. That's an interesting message. I'm getting the sense that this is about personal courage and it's about, you know, moving forward with what you want. And I feel like maybe because you feel guilty about causing deception or doubt in this connection, you know you love your person. You, you are feeling the Ten of Cups for them. You want this outcome for them. And this is all about the relationship. Right, Aries? This is true love for you. This is the real deal. This is not a joke. But you are scared to death of losing them because of this. Because of deception, deceitfulness, secrets. You weren't truthful. So I feel like this is having the personal courage to move forward, to keep charging ahead. And not necessarily taking no for an answer, but you have to be very careful with that, Aries. You can't force yourself upon someone right? Because that's only going to drive them away. If they're not ready to receive you, they're not ready to receive you and they need more time to heal. All right. So I'm going to pull one more angel message because I feel like that one's giving us confusion. So Crystal came out. What does Crystal have to say? Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. I like that better for you, Aries. I really do. I really do. Something positive and new is on the horizon that you just can't see yet. So have faith. 
have faith and know that goodness is around the corner. All right. So that's all I have for you. Lots going on here. Big messages. The key takeaway is be impeccable with your words, right? Frame everything in the proper context and don't, don't deceive or don't intentionally dilute someone or, or not dilute, but, um, manipulate maybe that could have been a form of manipulation you know with your words you're telling half truths so just be careful words have meaning words have power 